गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम अगेन टू दिस न्यू सेशन ऑफ फिजिक्स टुडे इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर माय डियर फ्रेंड्स येस्टरडे वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द वेव फ्रंट एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट वी हैव ट्राई टू प्रूव इट फॉर द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन today we will continue with the same concept but instead of reflection we will be talking about the refraction of a wave front now as you already know that refraction is the process in which the ray of light bends when it passes from one transparent medium into another transparent medium because of the reason that the two different mediums have different speed of velocity that means the speed of velocity will be different for the two different mediums because one is a denser medium where the particles are closely packed and one is the rare medium where the particles are loosely packed so that concept you are already having from your previous classes now as we talk about the wave front so let us consider that uh, this is the uh, surface of you can say a partition of the two media is this is let us say the rare medium and this is our denser medium in rare medium let uh, the velocity of the light be v1 and the velocity of light be v2 and you clearly know that in this case v1 will be more than v2 because in the denser medium the speed of light will decrease now suppose that there is a wave front wave coming in the form of this and let us presume that this is our incident wave front and let me give the name a and b this a b is the incident wave front which is falling on this refracting surface x y now you know the moment the wave at a will touch the refracting surface obviously there will be what is called the refraction of light and you know in refraction of light in refraction of light what happens very good the ray of light will bend so because it is coming from a rare medium into denser medium so it will bend towards the normal and this ray instead of going straight in this format will follow the path like this it will follow the path like this it will bend towards the normal similarly if you talk about the point b if you talk about the point b it will also follow the same so b will reflect again if this is the uh, if this is the normal so instead of going that side it will also bend towards the normal in this particular fashion and if i draw a perpendicular from here like this then this a dash b you can say a dash b dash will be our refracted wave front so what we try to consider a wave falling on the refracting surface xy and let ab be the wave front 
which is incident. The moment point A touches the refracting surface, it bends towards the normal and follows this path. Similarly, after some time, after some time, B will also touch the refracting surface and will follow this line. So when I draw the perpendicular, so this will be the situation. It means the time in which the particle A reaches A dash in the same time the particle B will reach B dash in the time where the particle from A reaches A dash in the same time the particle B will reach B dash so what we will do like last time we will write the time taken by these particles to reach the respective positions on the refracted wavefront. So what we are going to write? We are going to write time taken to reach from A to A dash is equal to now, dear friends, you know that uh, uh, the time taken will be given by the distance over the speed. The time taken is given by the distance over the speed. Now, if you see here, my A to A dash is the distance which is traveled in the denser medium. A to A dash the body or the particle is traveling in the denser medium. So what I will write that will be equal to a a dash and the velocity of the light in denser medium which we have taken as v2. Similarly, I will take the time taken to reach time taken to reach from uh, B to B dash. Now you can also see clearly that B to B dash the particle is traveling in the rare medium itself. B to B dash it is traveling in the rare medium itself. So what will be the time? That will be equal to B B dash over V1. Is it clear? Okay. Now let us consider another point on the incident wavefront uh, that is let us say this point as P. This point as P. So P will reach some point let us say O. P will reach some point let us say O on the refracting surface and from there it will follow refraction again it will bend towards the normal and ultimately it will reach the point uh, P dash it will reach the point P dash it will reach the point P dash on the refracting or the refracted wave front. Is it clear? Very well. good. So now if we want, if we suppose we calculate the time taken by the particle to reach from P to P dash. If I write the time taken uh, by the particle to reach from P to let us say P dash. Now that time you can easily see that it travels some part, it travels some part in the rare medium that is PO and some part in the denser medium which is OP dash. Clear? So it travels this distance PO in the dense, so rare medium, 
so it will be the time plus it travel this distance op dash in the denser medium so this will be the time so this is the time taken by the point p to reach p dash now you can clearly see i will just make the diagram little uh, wider so that there is no confusion about that so one way of light this is our reflecting surface uh, this is uh, one incident ray uh, this is again one and this is again one so what i can write this is a this is b this is uh, let us say uh, in this way and in this way so this is p this is o this is p dash this is b dash and this is a dash now i want to find out what is p o you can clearly see here it is p o this is p o and in last time we also know that the angle which the incident wave front makes with the refracting surface will be angle i it means this angle is our i whereas the angle which the refracted wave front will make with the refracting surface will be your r so this angle is going to be r any doubt so now what i can do i can write in triangle a p and o what i want p o so in triangle a p o so what i can write i can write p o over a o that will be equal to sin of i whereas in the triangle your next is op dash a op dash is here so what i will write b dash p dash o so what i will get op dash over ob dash is equal to sin of r that is equal to sin of so from here i can find out what is po po is equal to ao sin of i and your op dash will be equal to ob dash sin of r is it clear my dear friends good now what we can do we can substitute these values here we can substitute these values here now i don't want the diagram so i am just going to rub it out so when i put these values what i get po uh, that means a o sin of i over b1 plus O B dash sine of R over B two. So this is what this is the time. This is the time. Is it clear, my dear friends? Now what I can do is I can split my O B dash. I can split my O B dash. So what you will get? P is equal to A O sine of I over B one plus this will be A B dash A B dash minus O A minus O A the A O minus A O and that will be sin of r and over b2
Is it clear? So just open it and make the equation with AO together. So what I will get? P is equal to AO into uh, sine of I over V1 uh, minus sine of R over V2 then plus uh, you will get uh, A B dash sine of R over V2. So as you know that the time taken for every point on the incident wave front, the time taken for the every point on the incident wave front to reach on the refracted wave front is the same. So it means this time taken should be independent of the position of A, sorry O. Now, if suppose this is A and this is B dash, these are the different waves which are incident. Now, every point on this incident wave front, whether we talk about this, whether we talk about this, whether we talk about this, it will reach this refracted wave front at same time by taking same time. So it should be independent whether O is here or here or here. But that is only possible when this term containing AO becomes zero. So what we will write? We will write as time taken by every point on the incident wave front incident wave front to reach on refracted wave front is same so it is independent of the position of O. It is independent of the position of O. Then what does it mean? It means I can straight away, uh, what I can do? I can put this term as zero. So sine of I over V1 minus sine of R over V2 should be equal to 0. And when this is equal to 0, so I can remove this and it will become like this. And a simple what we will do, we will rearrange, rearrange. When you rearrange, what I get? sin i over sin r is equal to v1 by v2. But if you remember, when we talk about the laws of refraction, there we have seen that sin i by sin r is equal to n2 by n1. n2 by n1 where n is the refractive index and that is Snell's law sin i by sin r is equal to n2 by n1 so in order to do that you know what is refractive index it is the speed it is the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum over the speed of light in the very good in the medium so what I can do because there is no speed of light, so this is one of the very, you can say, important step. What is that? Multiply and divide. Multiply and divide by C. 
which is the speed of light. So what you will get? You will get sine i over sine r is equal to v1 over c into c over v2. v1 over c into c over v2. So what I can do is, you know, I will just take it down. So when I take it down, it will become reciprocal. It will become reciprocal. So sin i over sin r is equal to c over v2 and divided by c over v1. And obviously, what is c over v2? That is equal to n2. And what is c over v1? That is equal to n1. So finally, what we get? We get sin of i over sin of r is equal to n2 by n1. And this is what? This is nothing but your law of refraction. What we were supposed to prove. It means wave nature of the light is justified in case of reflection also as well as refraction also. So I hope I was audible, I was clear, I was able to reach your brains and the mind. So till we meet next time, just revise it properly and uh, thank you very much for being uh, patient and if you have any doubt, your comments and your suggestions are most welcome. So till we meet next time, take care and do take care of yourself and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much my dear friends.